morning. We are back. Back on the First World War campsite. I was looking forward to coming back here today. Uh, I've done some Google map searching and some old map searching. And they rerouted the um, field ditches. Back in 1914, the ditches were in a different place and you can see them on the old maps. And you can even still see them on Google Maps if you look from above. And I've just had a walk around and I can kind of make out where they were and that's where the footpath went. Wasn't where I were, wasn't where I went last time. So we're gonna try that. And then as you can see I'm in a bit of a woody area. The footpath went through here and popped out the other side. But these trees weren't here. So I'm not sure how this will do. I've brought all my coils, so we're gonna smack on some small coils. Uh, especially for in here. Standard coil, we've got the tiny little elliptical coil. Um, yeah, we're gonna give this area a good going over today. I may go on the field, see how we get on. Hopefully the weather will uh, stay dreary. It's supposed to brighten up. Um, it's about eight degrees, I suppose. Other than that, I'm hoping for good things today. I brought some bits and pieces with me, some iconic First World War um, just bits and pieces, and I'll show you on camera in a minute. It will just give me the feel for the people that were here. Uh, they might have owned some of these things at one point. Hopefully one of the things they never got. Um, yeah, I don't think the troops here ever saw the Western Front. I think they went elsewhere, so they wouldn't have had the doom and gloom and the mud and Passchendaele and the Somme. I think they went somewhere else. So let's hope that most of the troops that were here lived. You never know, you never know. But yeah, I'm gonna dig out me uh, old bits and pieces that I've got in my collection at home and uh, and then we shall get to digging. Well, as I was back in the World War One training camp, I just thought it was suiting to bring some things along, give me a feel, give you guys a feel for, I'm not gonna find these things today. Well, they, they might. I might find one of them. Um, it just give you a feel of what the troops would have had abroad. Um, this is an original complete Princess Mary Christmas Fund tobacco tin. There's tobacco there from 1914. And there's a pack of cigarettes. There was her photo. A Christmas card. This is the hard bit to find in this set. A pencil. Um, in a bullet. Silver tipped with a monogram. Yep, that, that was given out, I think, to a quarter of a million troops abroad. Um, there we go. The iconic trench whistle. When they blew that, you knew you were going into some serious danger. Pocket watch, could find one of these today, you never know. That's an army pocket watch. And um, that's been in my family for a long time, that one. Um, I found two the other day. Standard sort of cat badge, that's a tank or. Uh, First World War is dated, this is one compass. Um, that's lovely, that. that's one of my favourite things, along with the tin. Um, and then, what you'd hope that a troop would never get, be the death penny. Um, if you didn't make it home, you or your family were sent a death penny. It's, uh, it's quite large, you can see from my hand. Um, made of bronze. Yeah, there you go, just a couple of bits I've got from home. I've got plenty of other bits and pieces, but I just thought I'd bring them along. Um, I've also brought my recovery magnet. Oh, I could chuck it in some of the drainage ditches around here to see if there's anything left. I might chuck something in there, you never know. Right, let's get swinging. I'm free a free round. Better condition than the ones been out in the field and a weird little buckle. I assume that was a buckle, yeah. Well, I thought I'd up update you, and I thought I'd update you on the first decent thing I found, uh, which is a military service button again. It's got the, I think it's a lion and a unicorn, or a lion and a horse, I should say. I don't remember. Anyway, there's a shield in the middle. Um, that's the buckle I got in the woods. Yeah, there's a couple of weird and wonderfuls. That looks like a clip off or something. Uh, not too old, probably military. Uh, don't know what that is. 
some sort of screw head, cut the buttons, a bit of um, bomb shrapnel. It's probably Second World War. And yeah, I don't want to keep showing all the bullets I'm digging because you'll get bored. Almost like me, I'm getting a bit bored digging bullets. And that's my junk so far. A couple of bits of lead and uh, tin can to be expected. Right, hopefully, now I've found that, I'm going to start getting a bit closer to where I should be. Just had another padlock. That was just under the grass, actually. Yeah, a couple of padlocks, a couple of watches, tons of bullets. Let's carry on. A, another military button, smaller one this time. That'll probably clean up okay, see a fair bit of detail on it. That just came out of there. I need a padlock. Right, I'm, I'm surrounded by bunny rabbits as well, they're everywhere. Patience is a virtue. Look at that one. I don't think it's been broken at all. Wow, look at that. How happy am I? A complete he's sorry. Has it still got the little tabs on the back? That's hoping for too much. I shouldn't be greedy. Look at that. Not bent either. I know if they get bent, that's probably why they get they snap so easy. Let's just give it a bit of a spray, shall we? Look at that. It's in such good condition. I knew looking on Google Maps last night, old maps, would pay off. So I wouldn't have known that this was the old path really, because you can't tell. It's all completely flat. If you look around it's just totally flat. But that green area there, all the way to here, there's a ditch. So all this section here, um, it would have contained people. They probably wouldn't have gone over that ditch so much. So brilliant! Look at that. That that will clean up wicked. I might wait till the end to see that one. Yeah, look at that for a hole. It's all filling up with water already. Very sticky here. But wait till you see what came out of the hole. Look at that. What is it? Definitely part of a badge. Maybe. Not quite what I was expecting, but there's an old 50p. It's got that lovely orangey colour. Come out of it. Different. Gotta get one. Gotta get one on every hunt, haven't I? That, it does look like it was made yesterday. Look at it. Look at the seam around the middle. Never been fired, that one. It just got dropped. It's such a lovely place here to detect. It's so quiet, you can hear the birds. Oh, I've been here before. I came here two years ago and found nothing. Apart from bottle tops. Unreal today. Yeah, I can't have been doing it right. Oh, I spy with my little eye. Something beginning with badge. Another bit of another one. Another big bit. That's just missing the ES. They seem to break on that U there. I'm going to have loads of these things soon. I get bored of finding them. No. No, I love them. Great stuff. I'm going to have a cup of coffee in a minute and then we shall possibly change coil to something bigger because it's not too trashy here. Another regimental button. Or, a, sorry, a service button. Now that one. I know for sure was right down there, and that is eight inches. Go to show you that that DTEC coil is a very a very good coil. I haven't swapped it over yet. I am just about to when I eventually get back to my bag. That was a long way down. I thought it was going to be a full signal. I thought it was going to be iron, but no. Kept going, and there you go, along with Shank. I wasn't going to film this one because I keep finding them shoulder flash badges. Um, I dug it and I saw it poking out, so I pulled it out, give it a spray. It's kind of thrown a spanner in the works. That's the King's, that's the King's own. Uh, I didn't know they were here as well, unless, I don't know, honestly don't. There you go, that, that's a different one. That's another one off of a shoulder. King's own regiment.
Right, in that hole there we have a coin. At last, an old one. It is a George the Fifth. It's a bit worse for wear. I think that would be a farthing, going on the size. One George the Fifth. But there's targets everywhere here. One there. One there, as you can see from my cut marks. One there. One there. One there, but that turned out to be, I think, probably an old can from whatever they ate. It was like an enamelled can. There's just targets everywhere. This is the path that goes through where you can see the green line. That used to be the ditch. So I'm staying here for a little while where I found the King's Badge. And then uh, it's uh, almost time to go home and have a round up, I think. Well, this one isn't military, so that makes a change. This one, <clears throat> just give it a wash. It's a very decorative button, actually. It's actually got cutouts in it, and there's a flower at the top, if you can see. I don't know if you can see or not. The screen isn't particularly clean. Yeah, it's still got the shank on the back. I don't know how old this is going to be. Rather pretty. It's getting silly now. Can you see in the hole there? Sticking out the side. Hopefully I haven't damaged it with my digging tool. I couldn't really pinpoint it for some reason. So this one's almost live. Let's see how we do with this one. Ooh, what's that? Oh, look. There must have been a top bit to that one. Ooh. Impressed with that. I've not had one yet. With tea on the top. Oh, no way, that's the other regiment, that was, that's the other battalion that was here. The 5th. That's a 5. Because the 5th were here as well. The 5th and the 6th. Brilliant. Wow, what an end to my day. Confirmed both battalions, plus added the King's Own to the mix, but... That's, that's so cool. I wonder if I have little bits in here, the E and the S. Right, cool, right. I think time to start heading back for sure. I really am trying to walk back to my bag, but this signal is too nice to ignore. Um, dug it, I've mashed around in the clod and like it's up here. It sounded too nice. Let's have a look. Where's it gone? Oh, there it is. What's that? It was a, sh mm, it's round. Oh round and coin shaped. Do you know what? That's round, coin shaped and silver looking. I had a silver for a while. Oh god. It is... Hey! 1936. Excuse the train. 1936. Silver sixpence. To end my day. Yeah, look at that. That's not bad nick at all. I like George V. He's my favourite. There we go. Winner. Right, I have made it back to my bag. Um, that is what I call an enjoyable good day. That is, that, that I enjoyed myself a lot. Confirmed a couple of things. Um, to my research was right. There's the fifth. That's the 5th Surrey Regiment there. That was the 6th Battalion there. Don't know why the Kings were here, but there's a the Kings one. Uh, one complete East Surrey one. That lovely little um, decorative button. 1936 sixpence. A George V. In pre. Uh, I don't know, it might clean up. Uh, that's, I think that's a Farley. A 1969 50p. Yeah, you got your musket balls and your buttons. Um, one, two, three military buttons there. Oh, it's a lie. There's a fourth one. I just don't know who that is yet. I think that could be a regimental button. I'm not sure. Um, lots of weird clips and fastenings and a bit of harmonica there. Bullets as usual. Buttons. Not a lot of junk, actually. There's not all junk. I mean, that's there's some strange bits of metal in there. Oh, there's another bullet. And there's a shotgun end. There is another button, but the front's blown off it. 
Um, Most of that is rubbish. But not a lot of rubbish again. I'd say there's more finds than there is rubbish. And I haven't really... I haven't really done the field yet. It's not very big. It's only a, about two acres of pasture, but I've only been round the edges and in the round the edges of the ditches, so I need to get that big coil on next time and uh, just swing across it. Other than that, yep, pictures on Facebook. Definitely going to clean this lot up. Try and get some good high resolution shots of that. Um, and I shall be out here probably next week. I might hit the beach at the weekend, but um, at the moment, next week, we're gonna come back here again, just for a laugh, I think. Right, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all very soon. Like, subscribe, comment, do as you wish, and uh, cool, be safe.